Hello, today we will talk about oil and oil additives, bearing clearance, and this video is sponsored by Purple Supremacy 8, exclusive distributor of Supreme Oil Enhancer PSY8. Now, this company I've dealt with for a while, and uh, I like testing and have been uh, sought after different companies from cylinder heads to uh, oils and transmissions I mean oh gosh and I go out there and test and let me tell you a story back in 1980 early 90s I was sponsored by uh, our car one of the most prominent and highly respected transmission builders at that time period in the early uh, 90s and late 80s and uh, he called me up one day because he heard about me uh, burning transmissions left and right and uh, I was at that particular time uh, active in the Buick Grand National versus Mustang 5.0s and it was like state to state and we were the fastest Mustangs and Grand Nationals in the country remember the Fox body craze just got started then the Grand Nationals also uh, they're vying for the king of the street scene or whatever or racetrack uh, unfortunately, the Grand Nationals dropped out of sight, and the Fox body today, still uh, the hottest uh, body style, whatever you engine you put in there, Ford or a 2JZ or whatever, <laughs> Chevrolet, big block, small block, big block Ford, whatever. Okay. Now, uh, at that particular time, I was the only normally aspirated entrant during the, the shootout, the Grand National versus Mustang shootout. The only NA in the world, the turbo, nitrous, and superchargers. And I was ringing it in RPM higher than most at that time. I was turning 86, 8800 with va va brand new valve springs. And uh, our car one day called me up and says, Hey Ben, I heard about your uh, story. Um, I sure like to work with you. And I go, okay, great. So uh, he provided me with uh, increasing numbers of transmission for, for the big events up to four on a weekend and uh, everybody knows after the fort run I would slow down and uh, the competition would go just wait on his third or fourth run be quiet he'll slow down <laughs> but then again I'll switch to another transmission and uh, I'm up on on par again and running good anyway same story with our car uh, I was blowing the transmission slowing down after the second to fourth pass up to three to four miles an hour and it was frustrating and one day well besides that I was testing different um, input shafts uh, rebel trans brakes that he was designing and I was trying to see if it's got a fast reaction uh, so that my uh, reaction time would go down a little even lower still and uh, he did all that I was really uh, grateful and uh, had the, the opportunity to, to work with uh, a legend in the name of Art Car. Anyway, one day uh, I get a package from a company uh, in another state and they said, Mr. Alameda, you're welcome to try this uh, oil and the additive and let us know what you think. Okay, so I go, I got nothing to lose now. And I told Art Car, I said, hey, try it. Got nothing to lose, correct? So anyway, I made my pass at Pomona. One, two. At the seventh pass, I look at my mile an hour, 148, 149. By this time, I should have been 145, 146. I was still going. And on my eighth pass, I crashed the car. And I took the transmission, sent it to Art Car the next week. And as soon as he got it, he calls me up. Hey, what did you do here? I go, well, I told you I was running the transmission fluid and I didn't slow down at all. He goes, yeah, because this thing looks brand new. He goes, what's the name of this company? And I said, so and so and so. He called them up and he talked to them and he did a little bit of twist and turn on, on the fluid itself. And later on, it came out as the Art Car Racing Transmission Oil. <laughs> and his trans brake was also selling hot. All these things was because of our testing together and I was glad anyway back to today at that time we're running 50 60 weight oil the clearances was two to two and a half well two and a half thousand for a two one hundred small block Chevy or two inch Chevy the reason for the big clearances is because the heavy oil 
can get through and give cushion to prevent metal to metal contact but the problem with that at high rpm the oil is too thick it runs too slow and the bearing overruns the oil then metal to metal contact the only correction for that is to open up the clearance some more so the oil has some wiggle room to keep going and take heat out of the surface and keep it lubricated great but now you have a lot of this okay a big clearance does that now today presently with 0820 the clearance is very very small you don't have the slapping thing now you have okay but like anything nothing's for free tight clearances has <laughs> you have to run thin oil to keep it alive to, and the only way you can do this is with very good oil you're not gonna find 0820 and run regular off uh, Chief Auto Parts or whatever or Riley's you need special oil from dedicated racing transmission lubricants with PSY8 on top of the oil that we're running now you got something good it it's alive remember when the clearance is so much closer you don't have that slapping thing and actually the bearing load goes up it can take a lot more load or punishment than you would with a loose clearance that's an added benefit of of light oils not only that the rotational drag is significantly reduced with light oil in fact when you look at a bearing for example okay you, you're spinning the bearing you don't use compressed air to spin a bearing the sucker will fly out you're spinning it okay now when you put grease on there and you spin it it just goes hmm, hmm, it just turns a little bit that's hydrodynamic drag or surface drag from the oil now when you give lighter oil you can spin that a lot easier same thing with the crank pin the crank you can spin it so much easier with light oil but the thick oil like grease you put it in there you go you can feel that film stays there and that keeps it lubricated on a white light white a lightweight oil you put it in there you go wow it's hardly any any film strength there very thin and here is where PSY8 comes in from what I have seen now uh, most uh, oil additives and oil uh, are dynamic in their capability to keep everything lubricated what I mean here is to keep it simple because we can go through all the science it gets long too boring what happens is that when the engine is running go through all the circuit three okay and it keeps everything metal to metal contact to a minimum or really no contact at all right now as soon as you shut the engine off even with so-called oil additive or whatever you think you buy at O'Reilly or, or Chief Auto Parts, some kind of racing additive, the oil drains back to the sump. And guess what? The oil additive goes down with it too. That's what you call dynamic Okay, uh, oil additive. The oil drops down with the additive coming along with it. So now when next time you fire up, it's metal to metal hardly any protection now it's gonna rub and that's where you start wearing and tearing up the engine during startup then again with PSY8 it's static meaning what's going through like the dynamic oil additives going through the oil circuit through the bearings through the cam lifters and all that stuff rod and main bearing the static capability is that once you shut the engine off the oil indeed will drain down no no doubt it will drain down but excuse me the PSY8 on a molecular level sticks on the surface it stays on there okay there's a film that's hanging in there and will not drain down what happens once you you sit for a day two days a week or whatever or even in between runs as soon as you fire up it's there and sticking on the surface and you have instant protection it did not drop down with the oil it stayed on the surface that is very important now when you look at all these benefits the engine lasts longer 
uh, the ceiling less blow by basically what you're gonna have is an engine that lasts uh, much more longer mileage wise and everything more than any anything if if you don't maintain your oil you run cheap oil you don't put any uh, good additive or whatever remember oil manufacturers are not gonna give you the best of everything they want you to keep buying and changing your oil they only make such so much good oil in there so that their return benefits are more okay they spent less of their product and sold it to you for a higher price they will do that okay now uh, if you buy super expensive oil say six dollars a quart now there's a product 10 or 11 or 12 dollars almost double because they have the additives like psy8 in there okay and uh, they will make the effort to uh, give you a better oil but you have to pay for it nothing comes for free okay now uh, one thing also with psy8 additive because I, I've always looked at this in turbo cars if you really look at the turbo while you're driving around as soon as you can pull up on your driveway you shut it off even if you don't if you don't idle down you shut it off that turbine is still running you know for about 30 seconds sometimes even longer and remember what I told you about dynamic oil uh, additives when the oil drops and the turbine turbine is still turning the shaft you got metal to metal rubbing going on now because the oil protection went down when the oil pressure dropped to zero now the PSY8 and other very high quality oil additives in there when you shut it off okay the film strength remains and even though it's spinning it's still lubricating that is very important most turbo failures are probably caused by shutdown or still cold you fire right up and without even warming up and you're going hot dogging around there you know and the doggone oil cannot just protect the shaft the turbine and then start wobbling in there and sure enough it already starts rubbing off because the shaft is all over the place that's one of the failures now PSY8 has been tested in the west coast the east coast west coast of california here east coast florida up there in michigan chicago area and the upper states now why do i say that well because if it's i was okay let me go back a little bit i was on a conference call uh oh my god three months ago with uh, some individuals asking about lubricants and additives course and they wanted to know what I did in the United States they didn't care much about Australia or Europe or wherever they, they really wanted to know what I was what I've accomplished and the reason of that is when you look at the west coast of the United States with the desert and mountains there that's just like the Middle East in the deserts over there okay and then the east coast of Florida is humid it's dry desert in California humid and hot in Florida just like Southeast Asia or Asia in general and then up there in Chicago Michigan area it's cold just like Europe that is why they wanted to know how uh, how the testing went on and I tell you the testing is very positive this thing works now uh, with that being said the west coast east coast upper states this is the best place to test and uh, it, uh it's the crazy part was that they didn't want to listen to all the other ones from the other continents or countries they just wanted to know what is it in the united states what happened here with this particular brand psy is it positive sure it's very positive so anyway um doing all these things okay you gain gas mileage because of the friction reducing properties enhance oil um, and engine life because if you don't have any or you, you reduce the blow by uh, the oil doesn't get dirty as much it doesn't get contaminated by fuel dilution on the crankcase itself so you you maintain the sealability emissions uh, are reduced okay and 
most of all the engine life gets significantly longer you get better gas mileage all benefits of PSY8 oil additives when you do put that in there and when you look at uh, this net effect all right who's the winner you the owner and planet earth we get less emissions look battery power is great but internal combustion I feel will still be with us for a long time you're not gonna force everybody to say now you're all going to battery power so that everybody has the has the money to buy a brand new electric car used electric cars are hardly there okay now uh, internal combustion engines will still be around for a while the more we can keep it alive the better off we're gonna be environment is the net benefactor and man we get cleaner air and uh, all these things are an after effect of uh, good oil additives good fuel uh, everything positive with all the technology that we're able to get today all right so uh, PSY8 thank you very much for sponsoring this video uh, this is Ben Alameda Racing uh, please uh, like and subscribe and I will come back with more testing uh, in fact I got a test there PSY8 on a hard hard run and uh, we'll see what the effects are but I, like uh, first thing before I, I noticed that the engine temperature ran cooler not temperature all per all temperature like eight or almost ten degrees that tells me there's less friction going on there's less rubbing friction going on that's why the oil temperature dropped because it's sliding much more freer and then the turbos I know it's gonna last long. I have a Raptor turbo and I have a BMW sports car and then right off the bat you fire it up I notice it's smoother and everything especially for my Raptor uh, that I, I can tell the boost comes in quicker all right so uh, and one day I looked at there and I shut it off and you see the twin turbo slowly turn I'm going okay I feel good because I know the the static capability of PSY8 in protecting the surfaces and they stick it on the surface that even though my turbo was spinning for the next 30 seconds it was protecting it and I don't have to have issues in, in kind but anyway last word too when you start your car in the morning okay the light oil will immediately go to the surfaces heavy oil won't do that so light oil that's why all new cars have light oils because of the benefits of lower friction lower drag better gas mileage. but one thing they will protect the engine because they can uh, transverse all across the, the oil circuit so much quicker than a heavy gooey oil now when I fire right up in the morning I start right up and I drive off slowly I don't fire right up and go inside the house put on my clothes put on my shoes brush my teeth and 10-15 minutes later I go out and drive my car that is not the way to start your car because the longer you keep it cold the more it'll wear out okay if you have PSY8 you have a saving uh, uh, effort there that's pretty good but most of you guys I know would probably have just regular oil and they drop it in there once you get at the discount out of parts and as soon as you fire up you go inside and all that time it's taken 10 minutes for that to get up to te operating temperature just as bad when it's cold what I do what I recommend you fire right up and you slowly drive out of your driveway I live in a somewhat isolated neighborhood I can afford to go 5 10 miles an hour slow while I get closer to the freeway okay because I bring up the temperature as quickly as I could without abusing it in fact when I fire up my Honda I hear that piston knock da -da 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 the piston rock when I had PSY8 before I fire right up and you don't hear it but the piston rock is audible you could hear it and when it's doing that it's scuffing okay the, the piston is not really heated yet it's not expanding its operating temperature the more you sit there brushing your teeth the piston is staying cold the bore is big and it's going like this okay so uh, for you guys who fire the car up and go inside <laughs> worse off the heaters are running it even takes longer for that doggone thing to warm up now you're really wearing it out okay if you do that you have the bad up shut off the heater man 
shut off the heater. So the engine comes up to temperature. There's no load. It takes longer. You gotta put some kind of load in it. Anyway, that's just a uh, quick uh, advice. Just to keep your guys' uh, cars running longer. PSY8, short warm up, drive like an old man, old woman, okay? And uh, bring the temperature up as quick as you could without abusing your car. This is Ben on me, the racing uh, for PSY8. And uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll give you more uh, better and uh, informative videos coming up in the future. Thank you very much. Bye bye.